Did you watch AEW, Conan? Yes, I did. Okay. So it opens up with uh, with Brian Danielson against Ethan Page or Stokely Hathaway. Um, and uh, Brian Danielson beats him in si- – I mean, I, you, you're, you're building up Brian Danielson for for MJF, correct? Right. Why does it take 17 minutes to be, beat Ethan Page? Because they're trying to get Ethan Page over probably. I don't – so this was like – you know, this was, this was a little bit long for Page. This wasn't right. a long match for Brian Danielson, but Page, Page looked good in part. But like you could tell like it was, it was uh, laboring a little bit you know, as, as this match went on. Um, so Brian Danielson wins, and MJF was in the crowd with some chick, like up in the the bleachers or whatever. And then the, the yeah, they thought it. They thought it was um, the WWE girl. Uh, with, she used to ride the tank. Oh yeah, Shotzi. She looked a little bit like all Shotzi. The, yeah. Did you notice all that? The fans on, all the fans on Twitter thought it was Shotzi jumping chip. <clears throat> I could tell. Uh, that. Yeah. So backstage, Renee Paquette interviews Wardlow. and said there already been too much talk and not enough action. That Samojo appeared out of nowhere, hit him with a knee with with a with a lunar bat in the knee. All right, and the trainers attended Wardlow. Um, so let me just say two things real quick. Um, match between uh, Dan- Danielson and Page. Yeah, it was really good. Okay, mm-hmm. you know, um, I worked a lot, and I think you. I don't know if you worked with him, but you were there when he was an impact. You know, mm-hmm. um, uh, you know, he's just really turned into. He can do it all. He can work. He can talk. He's got a good look. He dresses de- right. decent he's size. Decent, decent size. size. Yeah. So you know. I have a lot of respect for him. Um, I thought that was a really good match. I thought the same thing as you. Why? Why did they make him go so long, right? Mm-hmm. And um, and you know it was a good match. Now the other thing that I wanted to say was um, oh the Samoa Joe Wardlow thing. That was a very weak attack. I thought. Yeah. You know, and and you could tell he was taking care of himself with the with the with what do you call this? With that tube he hit him with, the he bat, got, it, or whatever it was, it was like, yeah, no, it was like, like aluminum, a pipe. aluminum, aluminum pipe, right? Right. He, they should have gimmicked it, gotten a gimmick one, so he could have hit him with it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was trying to take care of him. I didn't. It wasn't a real good beat down. He should have thrown him through the, you know, through the wall and just really beat him up. You know, it was kind of lame. I thought. My that's just my opinion on that. All right. So back. So so we go back. This this to me, if 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 you're. <laughs> So, so they like AEW professed themselves to be sports based and stuff everything right. So so backstage, Hangman Page was was uh, being attended to by AEW doctors while Dark Order members stood by. And Renee Paquette asked him for a status update. He said it's week to week. He doesn't have any good answers. She asked if he was interested in the next match featuring John Mox, and he stood up like he was going to go out beat him up, but he was calmed down by John Silver. This was not good acting, by the way. The AEW doctor said he could get back in the ring in two weeks if he could keep himself from another setback, and that lines up with the show in LA. Bro, on what planet are they? Flying guys to shows to concuss to test them for concussions. This is so silly. I mean, I don't you know. This, I don't. I don't get this angle. They can cut. They're doing an angle out of the concussion. It's like he still hasn't been cleared. And if he's still been cleared after all this time, he shouldn't be cleared. Like for for you know, I don't know. Whatever. What do you think of this? This is silly to me. Are you talking about what are you talking about? The backstage thing with Hangman Page with the Dark Order. He's getting checked for concussion. He said he might be ready in two yeah, weeks. I'm not know, right. Me neither. You know. uh, so Moxley and, and uh, Cassignoli against Top Flight, uh, Dante and Darius Martin. Those guys are still really. Um, you know, th- this is a weird. What are Moxley and Claudio? Are they is the Blackpool Combat Club still baby faces? I don't. Yeah. I don't get because they're trying to like. You know, he talks about violence on these guys like like Dante Martin and Darius like two happy go lucky baby face kids that we want to kind of get behind it's like you know I don't know but they do the bro this had everybody thought this match was great okay I defy anybody to go back and watch this spot and tell me this this was not one of the dumbest spots I've ever seen Claudio has the Darius kid down okay and he has him on the ground and he's elbowing him in the side of the face okay the what's his name comes up and kicks Claudio he no sells it Dante Martin Claudio continues to elbow the guy in the face. Bro, he elbowed the guy in the side of the face 20 straight times. Okay? Dante Martin stands there and is looking at him elbowing the guy in the face repeatedly over and over, literally standing right next to him, watching his partner get elbowed in the face. So instead of clubbing like Claudio to get to like knock him off and stop him from elbowing the guy in the face, Dante Martin, well, I'm going to run and hit the ropes and d- do some high-flying move or something. And he goes and runs and hit the ropes, and Moxley clotheslines him. At the end of it, 
Claudio gave the guy 20 elbows to the side of the face. If that was MMA, like the referee would have been like fired yeah. forever for like letting the guy try to kill the guy out there. So, I mean, this was this was absurd. I mean, I, I'm sorry, but like I, I could not get over that spot. And I'm like, who on earth? Claudio has been around for a while. I go, why did he think that would look good? That, this was just that, that killed it for me. Terrible. At least, at least Claudio and and um and Moxley are not thigh slappers. And neither is Daniel Bryan. The whole Black Oak Combat Club are not thigh slappers. Maybe, maybe Utah is. But, uh, but bro, these all these green guys on their show from the indies that are just constantly doing this, it just it looks atrocious. So, um, you know, but I didn't, I didn't, I, I thought that spot was atrocious. But the right guys won. So, what what did you think of this? Am I being too, I mean, too critical? Uh, a little bit because it's wrestling, bro, and they have they have different set of rules. So to compare it to MMA is not really, you know. Uh, but well, they're doing MMA hybrid moves. That's my yeah, point. In a wrestling, you got to do the M- in MMA. A professional routine. wrestling match. I, yeah. But I'm aware of that. But you got to kind of, if you're going to do the MMA, you kind of got to sell it based on the MMA principles. Bro, I agree you know? that it yeah, looked yeah. that it looked bad. I'm just right. saying that it doesn't doesn't you know doesn't bother me right. because I'm so used to them doing all sorts of that defies logic. Right. 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 Okay. So, um, uh, but I thought it was a good match. You know. So we go uh, back real, real quick, Di. I'm sorry. Since we brought up MMA, and you trained Stefan Bonner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I was gonna mention that in the uh, outro. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, he passed away. He had some heart. He had he got an infection. He had he had, he had issues from the infection. And like he he I watched some of the videos. Like he went into the doctors and they they thought he was full of. Shit. They wouldn't give him medication. You know, like he he. he and like he was going in there, he was had pain in his back from from a bacterial infection, and they thought he was just some guy like maybe going like in there drug, making up like a drug addict trying to go in yeah. there and like get get pain pills. That that's the way they were oh, treating damn. him. He was doing videos on this, and he ended up ended up having a heart issue over it in the hospital. And he died. Horrible, you know. Yeah, he's forty five years shame, old. He's a great, super nice guy. Yeah. Like when you know, I, he was just a, I, I I liked him a lot. That was that was it was pretty sad. You know, he was on the show. At one point. Yeah, it was, on, it was on our show, yeah. Yeah, early on. Yeah. Um, so, oh, this is great. <laughs> Backstage, Kip Savied and Penelope Ford were standing opposite best friends, and Kip rambled on with some nonsense and said he deserved a title shot for eliminating Cassie last week. Trent Jesus. said that by that logic, he deserves a title shot because he eliminated Kip. Cassidy agreed and said Trent gets a title shot before Kip. It'll happen on Rampage. And, and that's about how much – me reading that was about how much impact that had as I read it. What did you think of that backstage? Bro, show? how brutal was that? It was just, are, bro, are you just you dying to see that match? They really built that up good. You can't have Cassidy be in these one-minute promos promoting the match because he acts like he doesn't even give a rip about the match. Yeah, but he doesn't, like, right? That's the character. That's the point. You can't yeah. have him promoting your matches if he doesn't care. Yeah, but nobody else does either. You know? <laughs> <I> know. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, here's – oh, we got oh, – by the way, we got all this – all the talent they have here. Guess who we get to see next? Balaam – Links. Balaam Links wrestled FTW champion Hook and Hook choked okay. him out in 51 seconds. So this is where uh, this is where AEW gets me. You know, I don't I don't get it. After the match, Stokely hacked halfway walked out with Morrissey and Moriarty. He told Hook that his dad likes to talk about how much of a badass he is, but in reality, he's the Southwest Airlines of AEW. Jungle Boy <laughs> ran down and took out Moriarty, and Hook had a had a Hook had a stare down with with Big Bill. Hook went for a T-bone what suplex. What a brutal name, Big Bill. You couldn't give him a nickname or a last name, Big Bill. That's probably for... the same guy that came up with Mr. JL for Jerry Lynn. Yeah. Hook <laughs> actually tried to T-bone him. <laughs> He's, Bill stuffed it and set him up for a choke slam, but Jungle Boy smashed Bill with a two-by-four and then hit him a couple more times and missed a shot to the head to clear him from the ring. This is two weeks in a row that the two little – the two smallest baby faces on the roster ran off your biggest heel and, and, and like the heel faction. They haven't gotten any heat on them yet. What did you think of this? Yeah, not well booked. <laughs> so, it is funny. They're, they're, Why they're aren't booking... the big guys getting any heat on these guys? <laughs> I don't know. It's like, <laughs> and this is a reasonable question to ask. It's like, why am I? I'm, I'm not interested in this because like the, the, the little guys are not scared. They're in no peril at all. Right. Like, you right. know, it's just you're right. There's no, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm thinking like the big guys are looking like jobbers. They should, the, right. the little guys exactly. should just beat them quick, right? You know? right? I don't know. So backstage, uh, Ricky Stark, Jericho told Ricky Starks he turned on the invitation for a lifetime and chose to mock them as jobbers and jazz holes. Jericho called Starks a flash in the pan and arrogant. He said he didn't have all the tools to be a star. Next week, he would take him to the top of the mountain and back. 
and told Ricky to check on his pal Action Andretti, who took a fireball to the face. And Jericho t- told Andretti to stay on the Indies until Starks would end his experiment next week. Decent promo, you know, right. but nothing special. But <clears throat> Swerve and the Mogul affiliate stood backstage, and two guys that looked like white supremacists. Renee called his actions despicable, and Swerve responded that Keith Lee just doesn't believe in his vision. Swerve said everybody knows Parker Boudreaux, but we'll know more about this guy real soon. They still haven't named the guy. Mm. They, he called yeah. him this guy. <laughs> Willer Udo walked up and said he didn't think he could serve, he could like Swerve any less after final battle, but then last week happened. If he wanted to get violent, guess where he should meet him, Conan? On Rampage. Yep, in Lights, the ring. Lights Swerve, said, oh, Rampage. <laughs> Swerve said, say less, and the match is on. So we're going to see Swerve in Utah to match on Rampage. Well, this guy definitely uh, needs a, a new name because, as we said last week on the review or the week before, he's his name is Gr- Grandin Goatsman. So they're going to need to probably change that. Not so great. So next is uh, next is the the Death Triangle against the um, what you call it, guys. Uh, just way too much thigh slapping in this for me is ridiculous. Um, but we, we we know where this is going. So the the Elite win. There's actually the finish is actually pretty good. Because uh, Kenny landed a one wing angel on Phoenix through a set of tables uh, that were in the crowd and covered him, but uh, uh, but Matt was in the ring. Uh, but he was in a he was in a fit, like he was in the brutalizer like a like a submission. Yeah, it looked Kenny, like he was going to give yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, looked like he was about to give up. But Kenny at another location got the pin and like beat him. So the the, the finish was clever. I, I like I like the way they did that. But the matches. This, this is the type of match Conan likes that I don't like, so I'm not going to like. I'm not even going to criticize. No, I was okay not, with. It. I just thought it was a little too long. But yeah, that was a great finish because he was pretty high, pretty <laughs> high up, and then he did that one wing angel yeah. with the table. Uh, so this is weird. So we get a music video from the acclaimed where they call Jeff Jarrett, a, and then they call yeah. Jeff Jarrett a carny who steals money like he stole Kurt Angle's wife. <laughs> right. Uh, th- to me, this is very th- weird. Okay. I don't know a lot of men, right, that are like like have a lot of pink stuff. Okay, bro, this video was like all colored, pink colors and everything. Like really, like it looks like, bro, like like the color scheme is something that like a like a twelve year old girl would have like their bedroom would be made up like. Hmm. You notice this? Yep. Well, what did you think? It doesn't really make a menacing at all. It's kind of like, it's like what are these guys? Kind of like girly boy? Nah, they, they, why 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 like, they into girly colors? You know that's what I'm like thinking. Cool nerds. But right. um, it'll work but, for their crowd. It, what, what really seems out of place is Billy Gunn with them. Right. I don't, I it seems get way that. Yeah, I, never understood why he left his sons. Maybe this, they have him there so they can sell the T-shirts so they can say scissor me daddy and they have daddy there. They need a daddy. Yeah. yeah. Which is kind of, which I, I'm just not, you know. <laughs> um, so Ruby Soho and Willow Nightingale against uh, TJAS. Anna Jay and Tay Mello. Uh, this was clunky. The finish was atrocious. Did this spot where uh, where yeah, Tay has it? She should have yeah. slid that thing out, you know, in one <clears throat> L swoop, so it would have gone out. But well, she had she, to go and push it again. She threw the chair into into Ruby. Okay, and as soon as she throws the chair, you need to like run, like you, you got to assume she's going to catch it to go kick her. She let her catch it. Then, so what's her name for for a good two seconds? Held the chair in front of her face, just like standing there with the chair, like like she was getting ready. And Tay kicked her, knocked her down. The chair hit her, shoved the chair out of the ring, and then hit her with a uh, a go to sleep that missed by about a foot. And that was the finish. So, what did you think about this? It was sloppy in some spots, but better than most of the matches I've seen. There, at least I was interested. Um, Anna Jay is mega, mega hot body wise and face wise. I mean, she could be a star. Uh, she's really, she's not good at all in one on one matches, but she, she didn't seem that bad here in tag team. Maybe they need to tag her up more until she gets more experience. Yeah. Yeah. So next is uh, Samoa Joe and Wardlow. And Joe comes out first and, uh, and they're selling if Wardlow's actually going to come out. So Wardlow comes out. He's got the brace on and everything and all that. They have the match. And Wardlow has a, does a pretty decent job of selling his knee. But, but he does a – there's no – if your knee is really hurt, you're not going to climb on the top rope and do a spinning moonsault twisting and everything. He looked like he, – he landed awkwardly too. It looked like he could have hurt himself there. But he did that to Joe. And So near the end, uh, Wardlow continued to pre- – was had some offense going. He managed – uh, Joe managed to land a strike to the inside of Wardlow's knee to slow him down. He then kicked him in the chest and chomped him in the corner, but Joe placed Wardlow in the top rope, but he slipped underneath and gave Joe a power bomb. 
So he lined up for another power bomb, but his knee gave out because he's still on the knee. And Joe capitalized with another chop block and applied the Kina Kikina Kutch and then choked him out. Ch- choked him out. <laughs> and passed out. It's right. Mojo, winner. After- <laughs> Not that that was bad enough. After the match, Joe held up his championships and Wardle woke, woke up from getting choked out and realized he lost. He turned towards Joe who then blasted him with the TNT title belt and then pulled a toolbox from under the ring and went to grab some scissors. The referee stop, tries to stop him. He headbutts the referee and he cuts off Wardlow's ponytail and waves it to the crowd. Darby comes down and, and hits him with the skateboard. <laughs> that's, that's the end. What did you think about this burial of Wardlow? Bro, I can't believe they had one of the hottest guys in the wrestling industry. And like mm-hmm. they've done many other times, they dropped the ball. They had a, a chance and you don't get many to rehabilitate him. Samoa Joe could have taken the loss. I can think of three or four finishes where Joe would have looked strong. And you didn't even protect him. You just buried him and choked him out. Choked this him out and brutal. cut his hair. This is brutal. <laughs> choked, choked him out. The guy must woke up. Heat. Yeah. Maybe he does. I mean, maybe these guys are complaining backstage and that's, you know, I don't know. Right. I don't, but, but definitely this is, you're asking, what does he have heat? Right. <laughs> well, de- so, devil, devil's advocate, maybe they're just, they think they're setting it up for uh, Warlow to get his big win back at the next page. But he's not hot. They should have done it here, that, dude. That, right, right here. I'm just saying, right. devil, devil's advocate. Right here. It's like, you're not, ass, it's, like you're not, right it's like you're not getting more sympathy on the guy. You're like burying him. There's a, right. there's a difference. No. You know, it's like, right, yeah. And you think ideally they would be preparing to throw him an MJF coming up, you know, in like, the summer like, or whatever. Per- perfect example, Joe. Mm-hmm. In another program. What what type of number do you think a rematch between these two is going to do? No, nothing. Just put it. I in mean, the not much because yeah. yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. he's one of the, one of them's the stock is down. You know, the, mm-hmm. on Wardlow, so whatever. But that's in our AEW review. Right. Enjoy the rest of the show. What was the rating? Uh, they um, lost like a like hundred. Yeah, yeah, it was like seven 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 seventy eight. I'll, I'll give you the no, 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 no. It was more than that. I think was it was it? like eight. Yeah. Look, look at the last two weeks. Seven seventy eight. Come on, that's no, a no. Big, it, was, uh, it was higher. Maybe it was, it was eight, eight, eight seventy eight. I'm not sure. Eight, yeah, they, they lost like a like um uh eight seventy six. Eight seventy six. What was it the week before? The week before was like nine fifty or something, right? Yeah, nine, they lost, they lost, it was nine. Um, whatever. Then it's a nine fifty seven. Yeah, it yeah, lost seventy five thousand fans. So I was yeah. like, whatever. Yeah, not good. Um, that's been our AW review. Enjoy the rest of the show. Boom.